I've had a request to make a video discussing the ambitious thesis statement. So when we talk about the ambitious thesis statement, we're really talking about not being boring. When you write a boring thesis, you are just summarizing ideas. You are talking about some old ideas. You can probably find this thesis in other papers and I may have read them before. And you're talking about writing a thesis statement that you were taught to write in high school or middle school. But now that you're in college, we want to aim for the ambitious thesis statement. So here are a few tips and strategies to make that thesis statement go to the next level. First, we're going to connect previously unconnected ideas. We're no longer talking about comparing apples to apples because that's been done before. We don't even want to compare the apple to the orange. That's also been done before. So now your challenge is to compare the apple to the experience of flying a plane or compare the apple to the world's best heart surgeon or compare the apple to this idea you get the idea don't compare the apple to anything that's been done before go beyond that come up with an idea that is unique and that is yours and that will get you an ambitious thesis statement and don't just worry about comparing them but draw them together through their contradiction and then while you're thinking of something new, you might need some inspiration. And so I would recommend checking out Freakonomics. This is a book written by two great critical inventive thinkers, Stephen J. Dubner and Stephen Levitt. And these two guys came up with a really unique way to solve a bunch of problems. And you'll find the book fascinating. If you just Google the word Freakonomics, you'll see that they also have written other books and they've also hosted podcasts and radio show. And this will just really start to open up the ideas in your mind to what's possible as far as creative thesis statements that are ambitious. We want to use our research, not in your paper, you don't want to just spit back all the research that you have gained. You want to use your research to show that connection, to show your ambitious thesis statement and how these ideas might affect each other. And so you are working to contradict common sense. You want to entice your reader. You don't want them to think that they've already read your paper, that they've already thought about your idea. You want to contradict the common sense ideas that are already programmed into our mind to make us want to read what you have to say and what your research has led you to be able to support. And also you want to be risky. In an ambitious thesis statement, we go away from the shallow end, we stay away from the safety net, and we push the boundaries, and we really just go all in with our thesis statement and maybe we are offering a crazy solution that might work based on our evidence or maybe we are just bringing together two unrelated things in a way that makes sense with our research and so just be ambitious in those thesis statements now let me talk about the quiz the thesis statement practice quiz and go over some of the answers because I know there's been some confusion as you work through that quiz to decide which of the two thesis statements was the most ambitious. And so question one, the most ambitious thesis statement asked for the reader to do something to change uh, the situation instead of just giving out information. Giving out information is safe and that's not ambitious. Question two, you want to pick the thesis statement that contradicted common sense. Question three, that thesis statement, the ambitious one in question three, uh, gave an absurd yet effective solution to a problem. That's ambitious. Questions four, six, and nine use the contrasting word although to set up the ambitious thesis statement. Questions five and seven give a great call to action and then question 10 goes back and connects the unconnected. 
Now, go ahead and begin writing ambitious thesis statements and I will look forward to reading your essays.